Humans are just... I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No. That's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh. Good one. <laughs> yeah. Tree jokes are the best. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she... made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. What the? Oh, wow. This is incredible. Real giant constrictor! My mother never would have allowed this. That must have been danger I was smelling. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? <laughs> wow, oh, you really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it! So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? <laughs> Amazing! Oh, that was a good one. Well, this has been fun, but... I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I... Oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's spoon. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Uh, seriously, you better let go. I'm not kidding around, Mr. Huggy. I think it won't be much longer now. I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through.
Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. He's alive, but totally exhausted. Poor guy. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. I want to tell these people that I've seen their daughter. I'm not ready to answer all the questions they'll surely have. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? On my spaceship. Yeah, right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know... It was getting all trendy, and the tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever, but my kid just arrived today, so I've been like hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first... <sighs> Collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. That's so cool. Hmm. Well... Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard. But it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? Do you order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. Where does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm, not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. Hey, do you think you could use your metalworks there to make me one of these? Man, that is one cool looking candle holder. I'd love to make you one, but I work for molds, not diagrams. Sorry. Hey, can you fix tiny robots? No, but I could make you a new one if I had the mold. Also, it would be kind of on the statue end of the robot spectrum. 
your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. Is this boarded up for fire safety or something? Uh, yeah, safety. Never know when an inspector's gonna show up. Looks like your axe is missing. I don't use axes anymore. Now I make the axes. Uh, well, I mean I will, once I get the mold. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah, me too. Phew, now that was a ladder. Whoa, check out these crazy clouds. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I, uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know, I... I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help. But... I have failed him. Also... I don't like being called big. Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fathur, but after this day, they will only call me Coward. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, Coward. Who's Brother Lightbeard? Our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his ladder. Tell me more about this strange girl. She looked so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. Why can't you help Brother Lightbeard? I'm afraid to climb this ladder. Climb the ladder. You're light enough. But I'm not brave enough. Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the words of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. Harmony hates anything heavy. Well, see you later. Don't give up. <sighs> Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Uh, help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. 
why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I, I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. <sighs> for there. Hello? Can you rescue harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Go get help. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard's side, or his underneath, or whatever. Can you untie that bow on Harm Knee's cloud? Why would I do that? Because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. The big old nasty looking kind. Thanks. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Just tug on different parts. Yep. Now it's even more naughty. Uh, uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new terrible knot. Psst, for there. Hello? Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. Try to find a loose section. You mean something like... Ooh, I think I messed it up. Uh, uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Like a whole new... Terrible knot. Psst, for there. Hello? Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. Try wiggling it. I think I see what you mean. Hmm, I don't think that was right. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new terrible knot. So you're gonna save me or what? <laughs> hey, I'm still up here. <laughs> hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You seem good with your hands. Know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? Like a lazy pole vaulter. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with the writing utensil.
Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. <laughs> Man, pencils were so primitive in Alex's day. I mean, this thing only writes in two colors. something caught in your throat. Oh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog! Mog Chatra! Struck down by the dead eye guard, only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything, as long as it's made out of sand. Oh, do you mean sand? Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand, as in the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I don't think sand is superconductive. If it can't be made with sand, it's not worth making at all. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything, as long as it's made out of sand. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Duke. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. It's a gyroscopic hypercam. If only it weren't made out of sand. Looks like a pitch pipe. Hey, have you seen this girl? Why, that's the girl that helped me build the Maiden's Arena. Great smell on that one. found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. This diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots.
Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. Pull apart the fighting snakes. Gotcha. Not so tough now, are you? Huh? Pull the finger. Yep. It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. Pull off the fly's wings. Okay. That helped a little. I got it! Hey, get your wings off that! What the heck? Avert your eyes! For there, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll get a Oh, this is bad. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea, but you're welcome to take it. What? No, that's mine. My lightness. As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No, I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? <laughs>